we were having this conversation about who do you think is going to be the first one to cry? <laughs> and literally in a sub-second, everybody pointed at me. <laughs> so I just want to say that guilty as charged. So I do have some, some thoughts. I really don't, actually. I feel so much more comfortable not to be contained by my So I'm going to try to stay as loud as I can. And um, so again, when the tears come, thank you. And keep me honest, right? So keep me honest. So um, in the spirit of, I, I have to admit that right now and over the course of this weekend, I feel like I have been watching with front row seats two movies simultaneously. One is The Wizard of Oz. And the second is Back to the Future. And, and I feel like I'm watching them at the same time. And the reason I say that is, is that when I stand here and I look at this room, and I think of family and friends, and everybody here that I love, that our family loves, that our family loves, this is so awkward. Um, you know, as Dorothy would say, there's really no place like home. And this feels like home. So just thank you uh, for being here. I, I mentioned Back to the Future because, you know, little did I know 20 years ago, this was really just a premonition to why we're all here for the celebration weekend. And, uh, you know, to that, again, it's, it's hard to watch two movies at the same time because I love both of them. The, uh, on behalf of the Browns, and on behalf of the Almonds, we are so grateful to have you all here. Thank you. Um, many of you have come from hundreds, literally thousands of miles. We know you're here because of your support and love for Carolina and Kevin. And truly, your presence is a present for all of us. So thank you so very, 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 very much. Um, so, you know, Kev, where's Kev? <laughs> So Kevin, this is the hard part. There's three hard parts and this really stinks. So Kevin, <laughs> seems like yesterday when you came into this world two weeks early. And through today, any challenge that you've ever been faced with, you've always risen to the occasion. And, and you always had a very simple theme in my mind, which was, I got this, bring it on. What I love most, is that you do it with true grit and true grace. And your humility is just an amazing gift. It truly makes me better. It makes me better every day. So you make me a better man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I remember looking out the window, and there was Caroline racing by the window with incredible speed. <laughs> with a pigtail, <laughs> and Kevin was chasing her. They were 10 years old, and try as he may, he could not, he could not catch her. <laughs> um, they were both smiling ear to ear. They were both smiling ear to ear, and they were laughing un just uncontrollably. What I saw then, though, which was is just again, true to the day, is that it was just a pure and genuine friendship. It was a pure and genuine friendship. And so, you know, it was a harbinger because today, Caroline still can outrun Kevin, <laughs> and they truly have a pure and genuine friendship. So part of this is where we're going to, oh, should we skip the race? We'll skip the race. We're competitive right now, actually. Well, I saw, I saw and somebody mentioned competitive earlier. Um, but anyway, um, Caroline, one of my biggest prayers that I have always had was that Kevin would find somebody that truly would respect him, love him for who he is. And my prayers have been answered. And truly, you are a blessing to Kevin, you are a blessing to me. What a blessing to Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. So, so because we're from Hershey, like peanut butter and chocolate, 
Separately, you're both great. Separately, you're both great. And together, you're even more amazing. And as you become one tomorrow, you're going to be invincible. You're going to be invincible. You truly know each other to the core. You know what the other is thinking. You know how to communicate the other's thoughts without it ever being said. Um, you, you, you truly know how to make the other laugh, and regardless of the circumstance, to just be that. Um, yeah. When I think of Disney and I think of the magic, you, you truly make it magical to watch you two together. And it's truly incredible. So, thank you, and I congratulate you on that. So, if we could all raise a glass. Find a glass. My water. <laughs> So I'd like to, I'd like to propose a toast to Caroline and Kevin. I hope the two of you live a life as individuals and as one that is full of love, joy, laughter, and abundance. True love is a treasure, and by truly treasuring each other, today, tomorrow, and forever. I'm certain you're never going to go for one. Um, I hope you'll cherish this weekend, and everybody here, and everybody tomorrow. Um, and, and I hope you'll think of this as just filling up your emotional bank account. And, and I say that because everybody here is putting everything they have into that bank account. And there will be times when even superheroes potentially get a little blinded by the day to day. And just think about your emotional bank account that everybody's put into. It's there, it's endless, all from it. You feel it's really amazing to So we could all raise it last to Caroline and Kevin. Nothing but your very, very best and honor to have you here. Sure. I'm going to share the mic with my beautiful